Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human body is a healing system, a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about anything you've heard on the program or read about in the papers or on the news or questions about ingredients or formulations, the longevity products, the longevity business, 844-236-6010 is our number. We want to be your go-to source for nutritional information. If you're trying to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. And of course, if you, got, if you have questions about skin health issues or a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the Bright Side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can go right to my blog, criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. You can also head over to brightsideben.com, purchase products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team right off the websites as well. Or you can call 866-735-2470, and you can sign up. You can tell them you want to sign up for a one-time $25 investment and start yourself a longevity business, get your products at the wholesale price, make a little money selling longevity products, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program and really help change lives, help improve lives, help people at the most fundamental level there is to help people at, and that is their health. It doesn't matter how much money you have if you're not feeling healthy. It doesn't matter what your love, like is li love life is like if you don't have your health. It doesn't matter about anything if you don't have your health. And all you have to do is not have your health for a little bit to appreciate how important it is to be healthy and strong, especially in these exciting times when there's so much going on in the world. Don't you want to be healthy? Don't you want to live a long, strong, vital life? Check out the products at criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, or brightsideben.com, or even better, call the Brightside Ben phone team and tell them you want to sign up and join the Brightside Ben team, 866-735-2470. And of course, if you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth Retinol Gel, 5% Retinol Gel, or Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Balm, go to truthtreatments.com. Also have a skin health blog at truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. We're talking the youth and fertility and wellness and anti-aging hormones, steroid hormones, cholesterol hormones. I call them cholesterol hormones because it really highlights the fact that these are all not just derivatives of cholesterol, but really types of cholesterol. Nothing exemplifies the short-sightedness and real biomedical ignorance or biochemical ignorance of the medical model than drugs that suppress cholesterol, statin drugs, silly drugs, nonsense drugs that... 44% of Americans over the age of 60 are taking now. Not fair. Dirty pool. And if your doctor's prescribing statin drugs, you should understand, prescribing you statin drugs, you should understand that you're suppressing what is arguably the most powerful and multifunctional chemical in the body, and that is cholesterol. The source of our PPD hormones, PPD hormones, the youth and fertility hormones, pregnenolone, progesterone, and DHEA. 
These are substances that are associated with all the good stuff, all the good things in life, creativity and fertility and weight loss and muscle development and and, uh, ability to withstand the vicissitudes, the ups and downs of life. These are hormones that are that are booming and raging when we're young and whose levels drop significantly as we age. Just like the PPD hormones are our youth and fertility hormones, the decline of the PPD hormones marks the aging process. This is why it's so important to do anything we could do to upregulate the PPD hormones, pregnenolone, progesterone, and DHEA, and also to use them supplementally. Pregnenolone is available as uh, uh, capsules and tablet supplements. So is DHEA. Progesterone and DHEA are also available as creams, topical preparations, which work very effectively. These are all substances that are associated with safety, with security, with thrival. When we perceive the world through the eyes of survival, through the eyes of fear, when we interpret the events of our lives as threats to our survival, when we're suffering from diseases, we produce less of the PPD hormones and more of the stress hormones, particularly cortisol. If we're on a steroid drug like prednisone, likewise, our body will be directed into the stress response. If you are dealing with, if you're either dealing with the effects of elevated cholesterol, jitteriness, insomnia, poor muscle development, weight gain, or if you're on a steroid drug like prednisone, you can, you can derive tremendous benefit from the PPD hormones. We can all derive benefits from the PPD hormones as we age, but especially if you're dealing with excess cortisol issues and especially if you're on a prescription steroid drug. If you're on a prescription steroid drug, your body is going to be directed into the stress response. Another absolutely stupid biochemical model or biochemical strategy employed by the medical model is to dose with prednisone. Now, if you need it in the short run, if you need prednisone or a steroid drug in the, in the short term, that's one thing. But to stay on these drugs long term, and some people are on them for life, is so foolhardy. It's so biochemically stupid for a, a medical professional to do this to somebody. But if you are on prednisone or steroid drug, you can mitigate some of the effects by employing 100 milligrams, 200 milligrams, even a pregnenolone a day. DHEA, maybe 10 milligrams. We haven't talked about DHEA yet, but we will. Or even using progesterone, uh, progesterone cream. So you get this, this circle of disease, a circle of disease where you get a stress response because we have how we see the world, because we're induced to see the world through fear. We get a stress response from sugar and from poor, uh, poor food choices through digestive issues. And because the stress response has the effect of shutting down the body's ability to grow and heal and repair, because the stress hormones that are secreted when we're under stress shut down the immune system, what ends up happening is we become more susceptible to diseases. So we get this vicious circle of a stress response which shuts down the body's ability to fight disease, suppresses the immune system, shuts down the digestive system, impairs nutrient absorption, changes our blood pressure, makes our heart work harder, induces the breakdown of the body, and guess what? That causes more stress response. And of course, then you get more disease and more malnutrition and more digestive toxicity, leading to more stress response and more bodily breakdown. And you end up with this vicious cycle whose ultimate manifestation is what we call chronic degenerative disease. And this is the fundamental reason why we don't get better. It's the fundamental reasons why 80% of our health care costs in this country are based in chronic degenerative diseases, arthritis, autoimmunity, skin diseases like psoriasis and eczema, digestive diseases, all of it. The vast majority of our health misery is caused by this vicious cycle of stress leading to disease, leading to more stress, leading to more disease. And this is why calming the body down is so important. Redirecting steroid hormone production, steroid hormone chemistry from the production of cortisol into production of the PPD hormones. And it's so easy. It's as simple as deep breathing or a hot tub or nutritional supplements or the ketogenic diet or fasting, focusing out of the sides of our eyes, noticing body rhythms like our breathing and our heart rate. These are all ways that we can turn off the stress response and turn on the healing, rest, and digest nervous system. Noticing environmental sounds. These are simple little medical, non-medical strategies that we can all use. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. All right, we 
we're back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here. Got lines open for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, the longevity products, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just would like to contribute to our conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, if you're dealing with acne issues or anti-aging or if you've got large pores, if you want to give yourself a nice vitamin skin peel once a week or once every couple of weeks, you want to check out our Truth Retinol Gel. It's also made with a big old dose of vitamin C, premium vitamin C, no preservatives, no fragrances, no emulsifiers, no waxes, no silicon, no oils, no water, no nothing your skin doesn't need and doesn't want. Everything in our Truth Skin Health products is active and functional. It's going to do something to make your skin better. Every ingredient, I select every ingredient when I'm formulating a product to make sure that that ingredient is going to make your skin better. And that's all you should be ever putting on your skin. By the way, that's why you only use a tiny amount, the tiniest, tiniest of amounts when you use our Truth Skin Health product. One drop of Truth Serum, a pea size amount or a, a pinhead size amount of our Truth Balm and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream and Truth Retinol 5% Gel go a long, long way. A, a pinhead amount is the same, has the same amount of material as a whole blob of your standard typical cream or lotion. You can find out all about our Truth products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so calming the body down, critical, critical to understand. A simple little thing like deep breathing, a simple little thing like a massage or a hot tub can go way much, way further for improving your health than, than any medical strategy. Zero side effects, real biochemical modifying effects. We've been led to believe that health is medical, that medicine is health. Medicine equals health. And not only is this not helpful, it's 100% wrong. Medicine is the opposite of health. Medicine is the opposite of health, with the exception of killing bacteria, and even that strategy is now uh, being reconsidered as we reap the uh, uh, sow the seeds of, uh, or reap the seeds of, of uh, antibiotic resistance. Even The Economist this week, which is a business and financial magazine, had a big cover story on antibiotic resistance. It's a serious, serious problem. What are we going to do when antibiotics don't work anymore? But even if you allow for the times when we need antibiotics, with that exception, medicine and health are, are opposites. They're oxymorons. Medical health is an oxymoron, like jumbo shrimp, as George Carlin used to say. Drugs don't make us healthy. That's not their function. That's not their purpose. That's not something they are capable of. How can poison make you better? And when I say poison, I'm not being poetic. I'm being literal. The efficacy of all drugs is a measure of how well they override the body's chemistry, how well they compel the body or force the body and its cells to do something that they don't want to do. So to get a drug approved, you got, uh, you've got stages. They've got clinical trial stages, phase one, phase two, phase three studies or, or trials where they test the drug to see how many side effects they have or if the side effects are tolerable. And they do it in, in three phases. And then they, if, if, if the side effects profile is tolerable, if it's not out of, the, out of the ballpark in terms of the number of people who get side effects, then the drug gets improved. But you know what? They don't tell us about the last stage of drug approval, the last stage of drug testing, and that is us. After a drug is improved, approved, it takes decades to know if that drug is going to be too toxic for people to use. Decades. And guess who's, being te guess who's testing it? We are. Yes, the American public is testing the drugs for the drug company. This drug model of treating disease is an antiquated anachronism. It's a vestige. It's from the Middle Ages when we didn't understand chemistry. It got completely entrenched in the 19th century with organic chemistry and industrial chemistry. And then today, we just assume that's what you do. You got your sick, you get a drug. You know, 100 years ago, if you had a seizure disorder, they, gave, they had you fast. They put you on the ketogenic diet. 100 years ago, if you had rheumatoid arthritis, they would give you uh, uh, fatty foods. They would recommend nutrients, the B-complex. They would tell you to correct, correct your digestive issues, and then steroid drugs came out. Drugs cannot treat disease, but the simple little things can. Breathing, relaxing, salt. That's another great one. Now, the latest thing is that uh, the medical model is saying now, I just read this somewhere here, let me find this paper, about salt. 
A low salt diet is now being associated with problems. No kidding. Where is this article here? Uh, I don't know where I put it. Low salt diet associated with problems for heart patients. Dr. Wallach's been talking about that for years. The body needs salt. You'll feel better when you do a little salt water, you know. Baking soda can be a wonderful remedy for digestive issues. Reducing the digestive burden. Last program we talked about cancer, the emperor of all maladies as it's called. An ultimate example of a body, or cells I should say, that, it, it, that are at their wits end. This is what cancer is. Anybody who tells you we don't know what causes cancer doesn't understand chemistry. We know good and well what causes cancer. Cancer is caused by cells that are burdened and overwhelmed, and likewise a body that is burdened and overwhelmed. Like all disease, cancer is a cell disease. And even though the medical model treats the organs and treats the tissues or kills the cells, brilliant, at the end of the day, cancer is the result of cells that are freaked out, cells that are in duress, that don't know what else to do. They've been starved and suffocated and swimming in their own waste and toxicity for so long that now they've become sociopathic. They don't listen to their neighbors. Cells, cell division and cell growth is tightly regulated, and one of the major features of the regulated, normal, healthy division and growth of cells and reproduction of cells is signals from the neighbors. Cells are talking to their neighbors. And the neighbors say, hey, we got too many here. We're, we're okay. Stop growing. Cells stop growing. This is what happens in a healthy situation. But in a cancer situation, cells don't listen to their neighbors. They're like, screw you. We're toxed out. We need to do this. This is for us. We're in survival mode. Cancer is the manifestation of a cell in survival mode. And when we understand that cancer is a disease of duress, we'll understand that you can't fight cancer with a war. You can't have a war on cancer because cancer is a, it's a adaptive mechanism. It's one of the ways the body adapts and cells adapt to duress. And this is why cancer, does, cancer treatments don't work. It's why chemotherapy doesn't work. It may give you a little bit of benefit. I'm not saying never do it. I mean, if you, if you have got raging stage three or stage four cancer, maybe you need it. But our role should be to prevent it. And if we have it, to at least help the body deal with the cancer. That makes a lot more sense, particularly in the early stages of cancer. The body's immune system is fully equipped to deal with cancer, and cancer occurs all the time in all of us. Cells become cancerous because of the stressful nature of life, because of duress in life. So it's a normal thing to have cancer, but the body's immune system clips it out. It takes care of it. What distinguishes the appearance of full-blown cancer, full-blown disease, from the occasional appearance of cancer cells is overwhelm. Overwhelm of the body's defense systems. Overwhelm of the body's immune system to the point where it can't take care of the situation. It's overwhelmed and stressed out, much like the cell itself. The, the duress in the, the, that's associated with cancer starts out as a cell problem and then it works into a body problem. So you've got two levels here. When we recognize that the cancer is a disease of stress, we'll understand the logic between, behind calming the body down to help deal with the disease. Why do you think fasting works? Why do you think caloric restriction works? Why do you think oxygen is important? All right, I got some uh, 10 ways, 10 strategies for helping you deal with cancer. When we come back from our break, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number on The Bright Side. Got lines open for you. Actually, we have a full board of open open lines. Now's the time to get on board if you try to call us in the past and not be able to get through. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're dealing with cancer or you know somebody who's dealing with cancer, yes, it could be freaky, horrifying, terrifying. You don't know what to do. And that's why people go and get chemotherapy. That's why the first place they go is to the doctor. This is true about all health issues, really. The first place we go is to the doctor. Why? Because we've been hypnotized conditioned to believe that the doctor can help us when the fact of the matter is only in rare cases and never in the case of chronic degenerative disease does doctoring and the medical model make a difference and one of the places where we where the failure of the medical model is demonstrated is in cancer which for the most part is still just as deadly as it ever was there are some there are some advances that have been made we're living longer with cancer but a lot of that has to do with the fact that people aren't smoking as much and that we have early detection, not because cancer treatments work. If we have, God forbid, cancer, or you know somebody, God forbid, who has cancer, 
the job of a therapist or the job of anybody who wants to make that person feel better is to make that person feel better. Get their body stronger. Get their body healthier. The body can kill cancer. Remissions occur from every cancer. Stage 4 cancer can remit. Terminal cancer can remit. It can reverse itself. If it happens with one person, it can happen with anybody. So what do you do? Well, you make the body stronger and you make the patient feel better. For one thing, first of all, activate the parasympathetic nervous system through the relaxation response, through the rest response. Everybody who has cancer, anybody who's dealing with an issue and the friends, family members themselves, get a book called The Relaxation Response by Herbert Benson. It's been around for 30 or 40 years now. He's a medical doctor from Harvard. We've talked about it in the past. And he elucidates all the wonderful benefits by, uh, for, uh, from uh, relaxing the body, which is basically activating the parasympathetic healing nervous system. Second thing you want to do, avoid sugar and anything that breaks down into sugar quickly. Use the ketogenic diet. Cancer loves sugar. The ketogenic diet is a way of deriving energy from food without having to resort to sugar. Use something called the Budwig Protocol, which is uh, flaxseed and, and cottage cheese. Flaxseed and cottage cheese, when they're combined together, conduct electrical energy, and cancer is largely the result of breakdowns at the electrical level of a cell. Pay attention to your digestive health. Toxicity that enters in through a leaky gut is a major problem with suppressing or, or causing a problem with the immune system and clogging up the blood and the lymph. And of course, if you have a digestive issue, you're not going to be absorbing your nutrients. Focus on the blood and the lymph. Focus on the circulatory system. Focus on the movement of blood and fluids and nutrition and oxygen and the elimination of toxicity through the circulation. Move your body, deep breathe, protect the gut. These are all ways that you can clean the blood. Clean the blood. All diseases sell disease, but it happens from dirty blood. So even, for, even more fundamental than cell disease is dirty blood. Take advantage of oxygen, which is alkalinizing. Take advantage of hyperbaric chambers, which most, most uh, hospitals or, or many hospitals have. Cancer loves sugar, but it hates oxygen. Make sure you're practicing your slow, deep breathing techniques. Apply food strategies like caloric restriction and fasting. Go nutrient-dense. Low calories, high nutrients. This is for everybody. Oh, by the way, all of these things, if you're dealing with cancer, is for everybody. Health is health, whether you have cancer or whether you're healthy, whether you have a disease or whether you just want to reverse the aging or uh, slow down the aging process. These are all things we should all be doing. Fasting, nutrient density, use liquid nutrition. This is one of the reasons the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is so helpful. It's liquid nutrition. It's dense, packed with nutrients in a liquid format that the body can utilize. Take advantage of vegetables. Although they're not completely benign, people can have a reaction to vegetables. There's wonderful, wonderful nutritional components in vegetables. They're great for your digestive system and great for fighting diseases. Phytonutrients that you can't get anywhere else. Plant nutrients that are only found in veggies. Leverage IV nutrition. Use intravenous nutrition. These days, at least in Colorado, probably all over, if not if not uh, now, s certainly in the next coming months and years, you're going to see IV nutrition bars. We have lots of them here in Colorado where you just come in off the street and get IV selenium and IV glutathione and IV vitamin C right in your veins. If you're Brad Pitt or if you're Bill Gates, if you have unlimited funds, you're doing it every day. Selenium, glutathione, vitamin C, B-complex, electrolytes. If you have cancer, these are incredibly important strategies. Chelating agents, intravenous chelation, EDTA. Use the basics, the Mighty 90, protein, coconut oil, good fats. Make sure you're well-nutriated. Don't underestimate the importance of these basic nutritional strategies if you're dealing with cancer. You don't need to necessarily have something fancy-schmancy. There's all these fancy-schmancy remedies. The basics are more important than the fancy-schmancy remedies. This is not a program about remedies. This is a program about honoring the divine system called the biological, the divine system called the biological body, the human body itself. Exercise, intense bursts. You don't need a membership at the gym. It's great if you have one, that's fine. But you don't need a membership and you don't need five or six days a week. You need to intensely fry the body out for 30 seconds or 60 seconds, that's all. You can get a great workout in 60 seconds. In two minutes, you can get a, a world-class workout. 
Everybody has 60 seconds. Everybody has two minutes. And you don't need to spend a lot of money. Just walk up the stairs really fast carrying a bunch of books. Put a backpack on. Put some weight in there. And, and walk really briskly around the block. Stand up from a sitting position really, really slowly. And then sit down really, really slowly. When you get good at it, hold some weight in your hand and put your hands up. Hold, some, uh, put, hold a couple gallon jugs of water and sit up slowly or stand up slowly from a sitting position and then sit down slowly from a standing position. I guarantee you, you're going to get the best glute workout you've ever gotten in 60 seconds. Not to mention improving the circulation of the lymph in the blood. Exploit the intangibles. If you have cancer or if you just want to live longer or if you're not healthy in any way, exploit attitude. Yes, attitude, spirituality, visualization, mental power, thought power. You know, in the old days, not even the old days, but 15, 20 years ago, that was considered all quackery. Today, we know that the brain changes when we have a better attitude, that we secrete more dopamine when we have a better attitude, when we forgive, our cortisol drops. When we're more spiritual, we secrete more healing hormones. Our healing chemistry is activated by thinking about God. There's a great book called How God Changes the Brain by a guy named Andrew Newberg, who's a, 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 a neurologist who studies how the brain reacts to meditation, how the brain reacts to God, how the brain reacts to spiritual ideas. This is not airy-fairy. Visualization, likewise. With the brain, what we visualize in our brain, the body thinks is happening. So if we visualize healing effectively enough and long enough, the body will heal. The body responds to the brain, and the body doesn't really, the brain doesn't really know if something's really happening or if it's uh, in being imagined, being visualized. When you have a visualization, your body chemistry responds as if that was really happening. They do studies on basketball players, and they find if they imagine shooting free throws accurately, they shoot better free throws. Use enzymes, especially pancreatic enzymes. Wonderfully multifunctional. And then we come to our anti-aging hormones, a wonderful DHEA, pregnenolone, and progesterone, which play a major role in calming the body down and have, not surprisingly, anti-cancer benefits as well. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we're back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. So if you're dealing with cancer, if you know somebody who's dealing with cancer, your number one objective is to make the body better. It's to help the body get stronger, make the patient feel better. Ten strategies. Activate your parasympathetic nervous system. Relaxation and response. Avoid sugar. Use the ketogenic diet. Cancer loves carbs. Loves sugars. Pay attention to digestive health. Focus on circulation. Utilize oxygen. Take advantage of food strategies like fasting and caloric restriction. Use IV nutrition. Don't forget about the basics, the Mighty 90, protein, coconut oil, vitamin C, good fats. Make sure to exercise. Move your body even if you don't feel like it. A little bit. And don't forget the intangibles, attitude, spirituality, and visualization. They're not airy-fairy. They're not Boulder, Colorado hippie talk. They're real deal psychoneuroimmunology, the real science. And then digestive enzymes can also be helpful, particularly Pancreatic enzymes, a lot of great literature on pancreatic enzymes and cancer. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Pam in Arizona. Thanks for holding, Pam. What's going on? Hi there, Ben. It's Pam in Arizona. Thanks for taking my call. Great show. Sure. Thanks for my calling. Husband, thank you. My husband is a two-time brain aneurysm survivor. Okay. First time, first time at age 15. 15? And 15 years old. Wow. Back in the 70s. Okay. He's now 57. He had another one? He had another one at age 43. He's been on Dilantin his whole life. Oh, wow. Well. He's currently on 100 milligrams, 350 a day. And about a year and a half ago, they added on gabapentin. Okay. Which is now to uh, six a day, 100 milligrams six well, a day. Well, you know, your, your husband is a classic textbook case of the medical model run amok. Now, does he have seizure disorders? Yes, uh, it All was right. an AVM, arterial venous malformation, a congenital anomaly. Well, may, may or may not have been. That's what they told you. We don't know that. Do they know it's a congenital anomaly? Do they look in his brain when he was born? What do they know? They're just saying these things. This is, the, this is so annoying. 
You know, they prey on us. How do they know it's a congenital anomaly? That, Pam, let me ask you, how do they know? Aside from them well, asserting it, how do they know it's a congenital anomaly? I'm right in your corner on all uh, of those. You know, of course they don't know. How dare they even say that? I would, I would love to get a doctor on this program and just f- find out what's going on in their brains when they say these things. All right. So uh, uh, an aneurysm and a, a blood problem uh, um, is a weakening in the blood vessel, basically. It's an enlargement uh, of, the, of an artery caused by weakness in the arterial wall. So you've got to strengthen the arteries. But strengthening the arteries isn't like you magically strengthen the arteries. You strengthen the body. And then the body strengthens the arteries. The arteries are made up of protein, collagen specifically. So you've got to start working on building collagen. All right. How is your husband, what's his body type like? His body temp? Body type. Is he big guy, Looks little like guy, skinny guy, big guy, or fat guy? 5'7", 160 pounds. Okay, so he's lean and mean. Is yes. That, is, is that accurate? Is he, is he built really muscularly? Uh, no, we could use a little more toning. Okay, got it. Get him going on college and building. Number one, work on the digestive system so you can absorb the nutrients. And I'll tell you what those are in a minute. But if you don't work on the digestive system, you're not going to be able to absorb the nutrients to build the collagen. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that he doesn't have any digestive health issues. I'm sure he does. Almost all of us do, especially if our bodies are breaking down, especially if he's on Dilantin. So you got to work on things that are causing digestive distress. Do a food diary, elimination diet. I'm sure you've heard me say this a million times. Uh, yes. Anything that coats and soothes the digestive system, probiotics, good bacteria. This is all in the interests of keeping the digestive environment, the intestinal environment, strong and, and, and healthy so it can absorb the nutrition and so toxicity doesn't get into the blood. Number two, uh, you want to calm the body down under conditions of duress. The body will not build. You will not repair tissue and blood vessels will inevitably weaken. Does that make sense? All the things I yeah. talked about with calming the body down, deep breathing techniques and massage and Reiki and, and pregnenolone or DHEA supplements, calm the body down, oxygenation, There's so much more. But I, I, I got, don't have a lot of time here and I got some more calls I want to get to. So calm the body down. Then the third thing is start to build up, build up, well, build the entire body. When you build up the entire body, the collagen will start to build up. That means he'll have stronger bones, his skin will be healthier, and his blood vessels will be stronger. Protein, extremely important. Oh, by the way, you might want to consider ga- uh, real GABA instead of the gabapentin, all right? Real GABA, and that may help him minimize his dose or maybe even wean off of the, the gabapentin. Real GABA, 100 to 300 milligrams a day. Also glycine, G-L-Y-C-I-N-E, and also the ketogenic diet. All of these for the seizures. Uh, and then for building the collagen, protein is extremely important. Digestive enzymes with your meal so you can absorb the protein. Using protein smoothies so he can access the protein, as long as he doesn't have reactions to the protein, whey protein. Using, if you're using longevity, slender FX, the keto FX. Building protein, bone soup, cartilage-containing products, all of this will help strengthen the arterial wall. Then you also want to do vitamin C because you can't build collagen without it. That means the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, and I would be taking extra vitamin C. I would be doing as much as I could. You don't want to, uh, you don't want to cause any digestive distress. Sometimes too much vitamin C will cause gas or bloating or loose stools or something like that. So you don't want to overdo it. See where a good spot is for him where he feels good. Maybe a gram a day, maybe th- two or three grams a day, four grams a day. Vitamin E, incredibly important for the brain. Incredibly, unbelievably, 400 IU a day. The B complex for all energy production and all disease is really a problem with energy production fundamentally. And then your essential fatty acids. That means a healthy star pack. Make sure he's getting on the healthy star pack. Caloric restriction will go a long way. Fasting will go a long way too for helping him, uh, especially with the seizures. But caloric restriction just, you know, fasting is intermittent. Caloric restriction meaning low calories. That's something you do for your whole life. So everything we talk about here on this program, the idea being that you want to build and strengthen the digestive, the, the, uh, uh, the art- arteries, the circulatory vessels, and you want to calm the body down. Those are your two main strategies. Of course, uh, it always helps to stabilize blood sugar and stay away from foods that spike blood sugar. Calm the body down, help the body build connective tissue and collagen. Make sense? You're awesome, Dan. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope we helped you out. Take care, man. Uh, Pam. You too. Care. Okay, God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, Mary in Michigan. Michigan Mary, what's going on? Hey, hi, Ben. Uh, hey. Um, I spoke, last time I spoke to you, uh, you told me that you thought that um, 
uh, my pains and, and digestive problems and things like that were uh, had a lot to do with my liver. And so I've been uh, trying to concentrate on that. And, and from times past, you've said things about um, um, uh, varicose veins and that kind of thing. Um, uh, Circulation. You know, being, being liver, being liver yeah. related. Uh-huh. Anyway, so I've been reading up about it, and uh, it sounds like glutathione is is uh, is is pretty important. But um, the only thing I found it in so far is watermelon. <laughs> okay, no, that's not a good that's not a good way to get you glutathione because it's filled with sugar. Watermelon. I right. love watermelon. Don't make no mistake about it. I love the stuff, but it is probably one of the sweetest, if not the sweetest, of all the fruits. So <laughs> there is some good stuff in, glutath- in uh, watermelon, absolutely. Here's the thing with glutathione. You can uh, give the body raw materials to build glutathione. That's the main strategy. Now, right. uh, whey protein will have some glutathione in it. If you can do whey protein, that's your, in my opinion, that's the best way to, to bump up glutathione levels. I haven't fruit- really been able to do whey. Uh, have you tried the isolates, the whey protein isolates? No, I don't know. Try the super high-tech one. It's not as good as the ordinary hydrolyzed whey protein, but the more high-tech ones will at least get you some, some of the benefits of glutathione building uh, without, for some people, without the, the digestive issues. If you can't do whey, you can't do whey. Can build you up give me an example of, of, of... Of brands? Yeah. Just look for something called whey protein isolate. I-S-O-L-A-T-E, whey protein isolate. That's a, a, a very highly processed form of whey, and I don't usually like processed products, but... Okay. Um, but if you can't do whey otherwise, that might that might be helpful for you. But you can also use supplements that help your body build glutathione. The three main ones are glycine, which is found in whey protein and cartilage and other other high protein foods. G L Y C I N E, glycine. Then glutamine, which again is found in all high protein foods, and both glycine and glutamine you can supplement with. And then N acetylcysteine, N A C. And then you want to take some selenium with it, and also sulfur. Selenium, sulfur, glutamine, glycine, and uh, and uh, N acetylcysteine. Those are your five major building blocks for glutathione. You should be supplementing with all of those. Okay. There are lots more things that you do for, your, for the liver, by the way. Uh, really important to use probiotics, vegetable juices, and support right, digestive right. health. Mary, I'm out of time, sweetheart. I'm, that's that's all we got for today. Thank Thanks you. so much. All right, take care. Have a beautiful day. Sorry if we left you on hold. That's why I say you got to call in early on the bright side. Please check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com, including, including our retinol 5% gel. And if you want to join the bright side Ben team, call 844-236-6010. Eight four, I'm sorry, 866-735-2470. 866-735-2470. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.